Nikolaev has been an up-and-comer. He is 25 years old. He is taking on a more experienced fighter in Ed West, who is a taller fighter as well and has an interesting reach advantage, 72 inches to 67 and a half. That's a good reach advantage in this weight class. Let's officially meet him and go back to Jazz. Welcome back, the best fight fans in the world who are watching live at NBCSN here in Phoenix, Arizona. Our next fight is brought to you by Proceps. We're scheduled for three rounds in the World Series of Fighting Bantamweight Division. And now, introducing on my right, fighting out of the blue corner of the Decagon. His record, 18 victories versus nine defeats. Standing five feet nine inches tall, weighing 136 pounds, fighting out of Tucson, Arizona. Tonight, he makes his World Series of Fighting debut. Introducing West loves his submission, so close the distance by pushing the fight and see if he can get a clinch. Once he has the clinch, go for a takedown. And now, ladies and gentlemen, his opponent on my left, fighting out of the red corner. His impressive record, eight victories, only one defeat, standing five feet six inches tall, weighing 136 pounds, fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, by way of Dagestan, Russia. Welcome him back into the Decagon, presenting Timur Lucky. Timo Valiev is a very well-rounded fighter, has never been stopped. In this fight, avoid the takedown, just use his great striking skills and look for the knockout. Your referee for this contest is Ryan Brueggemann. And so here we go, Bantamweights. Valiev, who has relocated from Russia to Albuquerque, right, New Mexico, ready? to be are with the ready? famous Jackson Winkle John MMA team. Saw Greg Jackson give the thumbs up here as he was going to the corner. He's taking on Ed West. Interesting, Ed's been in a lot of organizations. We saw him back in the old International Fight League days, back in 2006, and here he is making his World Series of fighting debut tonight, boss. It's a good thing, he doesn't have any injuries. No injuries. Now look, look at Timo Valiev. His striking, he never repeats anything. Everything he throws is different. The last time I saw him fight here, it was, I was like, whoa, this guy is very good on his feet. At West, good on the ground, he wants his fight on the ground. But I have to say, his striking looks much better than it did in the IFL. Oh, oh yeah, with a nice it. right. He's a powerhouse. Look how he stays just outside that distance. I always talk about that, how important that is. And then just count his look at the low kick back. That was a kick, and now he takes it up high. Oh, and a man. combination, and he's knocked him down. Valyev knocks down West. Uh, you know, I said it last time when I saw him first time fight, I can't go straight to the top, this kid. West is right back up. A tough guy himself. I like what Valyev did. He faked the takedown, and it came in an uppercut. Yeah, he does it again. You see, he bumps down and then he throws that uppercut. Nice knee slides in there. It's elbow, elbow and a knee. And another elbow. And West is getting some punishment in the early part of this fight. Valyev is on the veteran fighter quickly. And again, this fight may end right now. It does. Valyev, first round TKO. Wow. Yeah, lots of power. Tamir Valyev goes to nine and one. The fourth time he's won by way of knockout. And he worked up a little bit of sweat against the veteran fighter and Ed West. Yeah, this morning we came from the airport and I was sitting with Mike Riggle, John, and he says, uh, yeah, I got here with Timur. I said, well, if you heard me commentating about him, the first uh, show he had here at the World Series of Fighting, and then you know what I think of him. Just an amazing, amazing fighter. He just gives me a nod here, Mike Riggle, John. But uh, everything West. he throws is explosive. He's got power, he's got great takedown defense. I truly believe that uh, we're gonna see him fight for a title pretty soon. Well, you talked about Valyev being able to bring a lot of different things to the fight. We saw them in clusters here. 
Hits her left, left, and now he bumps. Look at this. And once she does the little bump thing, how he stopped that leg. I mean, just an oblique kick. Let's. <laughs> it's crazy. Now he's going to do that bumping thing in a bit. I believe it's coming up now. Bump and right up the cut. Oh, not yet. My sink is a little up tonight. Most of the time I see it. There is Celeste coming back oh. a bit. <laughs> that was it. But here he goes. Man, I'm going to hoop hoop. Crazy power. And once he had him dazed, Wes getting back up for a moment, but then, and that's what the good ones do. Now you have sense that this fight could be in. That's it. He's just he's an animal now. Back fist, that's what I'm saying. He's not doing things twice. Although he did the bump and punch, uppercut there again. He goes, if I can do it once, why can't I just do it twice? An elbow, 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 and knee. And then he puts the hammer down, boss. 135 pounds. But he hits like a 170. Yeah. Valyev winning it with the first round TKO. We'll get the time of his win over Ed West when we come back to Phoenix, Arizona at WSOF 19. Gentlemen, referee Ryan Brueggemann has seen enough to stop this fight at one minute and 39 seconds of round number one. Officially a technical knockout due to strikes. Your winner, Timur Lucky Valiant! Yeah. Get ready. What you wanna do? If you don't strike first, that's when they gon' come at you. Yeah. And you know it's true. Don't let your life get worse. Being timid, that ain't cool. Nah. No.